what's up you guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing you guessed it another figure unboxing but not just one figure not just two figures but three figures and this video is solely dedicated to zenitsu from demon slayer i bought <laughs> i think i got carried away with zenitsu so i'm going to unbox these all here on one video i know my last video had the zenitsu look up figure with the inosuke figure so i i have that zenitsu figure too i think i'm a little too obsessed with him i i really do think that i absolutely love him and i love these figures that i got please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like it but without further ado i'm going to unbox these and i will be right back let me actually first show you the boxes uh, I did open this one up before I recorded when I got the actual package just because it came in a little wonky I don't know if you can see like the dents on these um, sides of the boxes but I was just afraid that it was broken so I want to make sure he was still intact but here's the box for the first one this is basically a figure that just sits at the edge of a shelf or on a table while he eats his onigiri and he is accompanied he's accompanied by uh chintaro um oh you can see it it's supposed to be like that back you add chintaro at the top of his head and then the other one is basically just a handheld figure um, where he's kneeling he has his own base right there I think you can either choose to put him on the base or choose not to um, but yeah there he is and then we have the Nendroid actually now that I'm kind of looking at it I feel like the Nendroid can be its own separate video just because it has a ton of parts with it so I might do that I might save actually this Nendroid for another video um, for as I need to so but at least you got a preview of what's to come in the future anyways let's let's just get to unboxing these two for now all right so let's unbox this one first since i already opened it and it's already easy to just open up okay so he does come in a bit of a weird um box but when you open it here he is in bubble wrap. Anyways, here he is right in between his arms is Chuntaro and there he is. I don't know if you can see that. And then there is a section over here where you can just plop Chuntaro in. And what I really like about this is he doesn't feel loose on top there. It doesn't feel like he'd fall off. And I know sometimes that's a problem with figures, especially Nendroids. Sometimes they feel a little too loose. But no, he's perfect. And this is basically it. This is the figure. The colors are fantastic. I've never had a figure like this where he just sits on his own and doesn't have an actual base. And the base is actually like your table or whatever you place them on. There you go with the flat bottom, just like <laughs> um, the look up figures. We got a beautiful gradient in the back. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. I love the folds going on with his clothes. Makes it look more realistic. The molding on his hair is phenomenal. Look at that detail. Look how many strands of hair he has. Perfect French fry boy. His face doesn't look weird at all. It looks pretty similar to the actual show, so I'm really happy about that. His hands are really molded well. Even the onigiri, you probably can't see that, but um, it's got little details with the grains of rice. I absolutely love it. I think he is so cute. All right, we'll leave him right there while we unbox the other figure, which is this guy right over here. So here is Zenitsu. It's gonna be a little hard to show him. 
he's kneeling down but this is basically how he's supposed to be seated he has his little worried look um i believe he's supposed to be paired with nezuko tanjiro and inosuke um for that one i think is the same and they're like sitting on the floor and i don't know it looks like they're telling scary stories or something because he looks a bit concerned and terrified again beautiful folds going on here he doesn't have his shoes so you can see his little socks instead the hair color seems a bit duller and i think overall the colors are a bit less saturated and a bit duller than that figure over there and it is a smaller figure as well so i don't think it's going to be as easy getting small details as it would be for bigger figures these are some nice folding details going on over here the coloring is a teeny bit messy for his calves but that's fine i mean ultimately you're gonna be posing him like that where you won't even be able to tell i mean in terms of which figure is my favorite between the two i'm gonna have to go with the first one but honestly they really come close to a tie I know this figure was made by Jem, which for me sometimes is a hit or miss, to be honest, but I really think they nailed it with this one and they did a pretty good job. The other figure back there is done by Sega, which I think, I'm not 100% sure, I don't think I have any figures in my collection made by Sega. Maybe I do, I probably just haven't realized it. Okay, so I put them on my shelf, so you can see basically a close-up and a comparison in size. There's a pretty big difference in size uh, with the two. And you can also see just how he sits down on the edge of the shelf. And you can also see the other Zenitsu figure that I unboxed in my previous video right over there for comparison as well. Again, I think I would have to go with this guy being my favorite between the two. I love the cute Chuntaro sitting at the top of his head. I know the Nendroid also has Chuntaro sitting at the top of his head as well. And I really love it. I think it's so cute. So yeah, that was the Gem Series and Sega figures of Zenitsu. Let me know in the comments which one you like better. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me and subscribe. All my social media is in the description box below if you want to follow me there as well. And I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye guys.